Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program is about the expansion of our consciousness. And that's why I have these two beautiful women here with me today in Tucson, Arizona, at the Maribel Healing Resort Center. They've just written a book called Manifest Moment to Moment. I have Carol McLaughlin and Taj Paul. I just had an incredible healing session with them where I actually feel very integrated. I was feeling mm -hmm. sort of spaced out and disconnected from a long weekend mm -hmm. and they work intuitively together. Carol plays music and Taj Paul goes deep into the energetic field of the yeah. body. But together you've written this book, Eight Principles to Create the Life you truly desire. How does this book uh -huh. tie in with your healing? Do you want? Well, partly uh -huh. we manifested the healing because. Um, you manifested the healing? Yeah, we manifested being able to do that. Uh huh. Tej comes from a history of Barbara Brennan healing school and, and Kundalini yoga and everything. I come from deciding at age four I was going to be one of the best harpists possible mm -hmm. and following that, but manifesting things along the way. So then it became obvious to us that harp could heal, and we just sort of manifested doing it together. Yes, during the sessions, Carol plays a beautiful harp, which is your soul energy. That's true. She channels your soul essence, and I'm going to listen to what you channel for me because it just put me out. And then Taj is doing this deep energetic work. So taking that, those understandings uh -huh. of healing, you uh -huh. put together this book on, based on eight principles. Yes. What are the eight principles? Oh, the eight principles. So one is about intuition, one is a bit about intent, one is about desire, was, was, one is about inner guidance, mm -hmm. following your inner guidance, one is about your purpose, uh, one is about your energy field. It's all about energy. Mm -hmm. and using the chakras <laughs> Using the chakras. But basically the idea is to say, it's all about energy. Mm -hmm. And let's find a way, depending on your personality and who you are, to access that energy that makes sense to you so that you can start to really take advantage of your being because you're way more than a linear brain mm -hmm. and uh, you have five senses, you have an intuitive brain and you have way more than that. You have what we call a soul, I mean an energy field that when you can just be aligned in mm -hmm. vibration with that, then a lot of other things are possible. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is to use a lot of different processes what? to help. Because we are energy. Yeah, we uh, are energy. Yeah. That is the ma and you work very intuitively on yes. the in the field itself, yes. in the energy yes. field. Yes. So you feel the energy in your. It's very interesting. I think I sense this because we do a lot of remote work. So mm -hmm. like uh, we have clients in Australia, uh -huh. in Germany, like we see face to face here in Mirava. So. We sense it, we inner knowing, mm -hmm. we visualize it, but a lot of time if we do uh, healing remotely, mm -hmm. most likely I'm still going to use my hand to access the field. Oh really? Yeah. Even remotely yeah. you use that? Yeah, I just like, it just helps me. Uh, and you tune into energy in a different way, but similar. I do, I do, and I tend to also hear energy, I hear people's um, what makes the pitch and makes them unique. Right, you can look at someone and s hear their pitch or their I sound. I love the word know, I just sort of know it. You know it. Yes, when you were walking down the hallway of Miraval, I knew your key. And what was that key? <laughs> uh, it started off in E flat major. Really? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that a good key? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a wonderful key. No, 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 no key. one is not better than the other, no. <laughs> but it's just my frequency. It's just yes. your frequency. Yes, it is. But is that my frequency in balance, or is, can you tell if like someone's out of balance if they have like a flat key? Uh, <laughs> it would be more that, the, it, okay, it would be like dialing a radio to a channel and not being quite on the band. Oh. And so if the person's out of harmony with who they really are, you're getting static. Mm -hmm. And if then you, for example, work in the energy field as Tej does, or work in the music side mm -hmm. as I do, you can bring that into alignment and then there's vibration. And as you're feeling, it feels different. I do feel better, I have to say. Yeah. So Bringing in uh -huh. harmony is the key to manifesting True. moment to moment. True. It's one of the key. The other key is like the ability to receive. 
Ah. Because a lot of people get stuck in trying to figure out, to mm -hmm. find out. And the more you want to find out, the less you're going to find out, as you know. The more so, you want to find out, the less you're going to yeah, find out. Yeah, you get more confused. Right. So you, get, how, you just let it in. You have yeah. to let it in. So music is one way. Mm -hmm. uh, finding any way is going to help you to relax. Finding your joy. So it could be a simple way like that. Mm -hmm. But therefore, so that you start to tune in at a different level of frequency, which is not thinking mm -hmm. in a linear pattern. Okay. Yeah. I, I, uh, yes. And, and I think an important part of the book is called Manifest Moment to Moment because every moment that you have, you have the potential of altering where you go from there. Mm. How yes. you think, how you vibrate, how you process, how you choose to focus your intent and your, your um, energy towards achieving what you want every moment so let's go through yes. some of the let's go through the eight principles so people get a really clear understanding and they want to buy the book yes cool. mm. <laughs> okay cool. Cool. so so the first principle is intuition right it's about the soul mission the soul but mission it doesn't really the order doesn't really no, matter but let's start yeah. somewhere yeah so th let's take the soul mission yeah. so lots of people don't know what their soul mission is. yes yeah. yes How we do see you? a lot of people exploring that so it is simple the simplest way we yes. know of is like exploring what we call your gifts okay which are different than your talents because your okay. talents you're good at your gifts it what brings you joy okay and the frequency of energy of joy is perhaps the closest to the frequency of energy of your soul. Wait, gifts are different than talents. Yes. Your gift being what you are here, to, what, what is the yes. difference really? Because a talent is something like you may practice at a very early age right. and for some time survival, you mm -hmm. know, you mm -hmm. take care, you organize and so forth. And if you're good at something, doesn't mean that you're happy when yeah. you're doing it. You may be successful, doesn't mean you're happy. Mm -hmm. And I come from a point of view of like we believe that the frequency of the soul has a kind of a joy element yeah. in it. Yeah. So your gift is like you have to let go of the idea, am I good at something that I'm not interested in? I'm interested in it. Does it bring me joy? Does it uplift your me? Your gift will bring you joy. Yes. Your talent may not. May Always. not. Exactly. Uh, but, but in the long run, yeah. your gift will be your passion and it will be what opens many doors, though they may not be linear, mm -hmm. and it might be more like the creative process of and this and this. But how does someone find their gift if they that's don't know? True. Yeah, they buy our book. We'll just the give way. them a taste because well, one uh, of the yes. things that we do yeah. in the book is have many, many things that we call claim it's. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's saying take this idea and claim it. For example, uh, every day. Take three minutes and write out what brings you joy. Mm. Uh -huh. Just what tickles you. For me, it's practicing harp. Uh, what is it for you? It can be painting. Uh huh. I love painting. From I love playing the music. For what me, do you like? It's connecting with people. Yeah, it is. And talking uh -huh. and networking yes. and also letting my creativity. Yes. We're letting ideas. That's why yes. I like to write. It's like I don't know what's going to come to me, but when it comes, I am. Co-creating with the universe. That yeah, and is you're my very joy. playful. You like to play. I like you to have play. A very playful spirit. Yes, I yes. like to play. And that is your gift. That's your gift. Your gift is being able to connect mm -hmm. on all those levels. That's me, but I know what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Lots of people yeah. don't. How would That's they find true. it? So if they oh, wait, wait, if yeah. they do that, it's uh, step number one. If they do that exercise, Writing what they what love, brings, what, what I love, joy. what brings mm -hmm. me joy. Right. Three minutes a day for forty days in a row. Three minutes a day. 40, for 40 days, days. in a okay. row. And the, the only challenge people may face is like, what I'm going to do with it? And is it going to bring me money? And la, 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 la. No, so no, they have to let go. That. Yeah, yeah, they have to let exactly. go. There. I never think about that. Stuff. But some people Obviously. go there. Some people go there. Yeah. So that's, for some people, they have to let go of their business mind. Mm hmm. And just listening to the what brings me joy. Right. And obviously, the idea of the next step is to do a little more of that in their life. To do, actually do it. Yeah. yeah. Because then what happened? Your frequency of energy is going to raise. Well, what do you say to the people that say, this isn't going to bring me money? How, I mean, I don't even worry yes. about that anymore. Yeah, because but, the but universe that's, rewards that's what, I, that's what we remind them. I say, you have to let go of that first. But what if they are so attached to that? 
Well, we don't say to them, let go of everything and just do this exercise, what brings me joy. So find still your way to get your safety okay. net right. first. But I think you don't even yes. need that. I think you yeah. just follow your joy. Yeah. The universe will provide. Yeah. Always. 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 Right. right. It always yeah. does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. No, I feel that. Yeah. Okay. So that's like number one step for manifesting. Uh -huh. That's say. one of the aspects. One of them. We can go. I mean, they are way more in the soul mission, but no, one element. of course. Yes. That's, so yeah. that's, okay, what would be another part to manifesting? I think intuition is really important. Yes. Okay. And I think we've all got intuition. Mm -hmm. And the secret is, do we listen to it or do we let the mental get in the way? So I listen to it by going with my feelings. Mm -hmm. That's one way. How would you, what else? I listen to it by practicing being clueless. Clueless. It's that's a, it's a good gift. Clueless. Tell me what that means. I think I saw the movie. Because, but I, <laughs> I don't know about the movie. But being clueless, that means I don't try to find out. You I don't, don't figure try, it out. And I'm not obsessed by a result, by your answer. So when I choose to be clueless, and that means, wow, I don't know, and I don't need to know. And I don't know so, anything. Like, yeah. clueless to what kind of situation? So anything. People ask me a question, and I don't go into assumptions or and conclusions. You, or what do they want to hear? Like, oh. And I say, oh, I don't know. So by pausing, mm -hmm. I get out of my automatic treadmill of mm -hmm. thinking, mm -hmm. and therefore I allow myself to reboot my system, and hopefully just to start with the brain on the back burner and to get more my senses mm -hmm open so that I can receive. So the notion of being clueless is one of the key elements. So you're present then with the person. Yes. Yep. You don't figure it out. And then you see what comes exactly. in that moment. Um, and you don't question it. And you don't judge it. You just accept it. You accept it. And so that's another way to manifest. That's yes. another way. So if you didn't know anything, you just start clueless. You say, what do I want to create? Something will come. And then you follow it. And you follow yes. it. Yes. So, so there I, are different exercises on that. I like that. Yes. Okay, this is good. What else can we do to manifest? To okay. manifest is like we had, the, it's interesting you were talking about moment to moment because mm -hmm. there's one principle that says you are not your story. Uh, and a lot of time, even in our lecture, I always say to people, I love you, but I don't care about your stories. Yeah, I, I agree. Stories because it's are an anchor. You know, well, we, so get boring. Stuck. we get has stuck a story. in it. Yeah, we have a story. It doesn't matter. And, and either a good or bad or drama or whatever. And so when we get out of that story, we can be in the moment. Yes. And therefore, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. And there is not like a whole conversation. You know, when I used to be in corporation, because I you used to that, be a corporate person? Yes, in the human resources field. And it was very interesting to see when people were not making their budget. They were spending hours to find good explanation about why they didn't make their budget mm. instead of spending time to saying, what could we do to make it? Mm. So they were just talking some stories. And a lot of time when people don't create something, they always say, well, I didn't do it because blah, blah, blah. Whatever the story is. Yes. And so it's just when we shift and we remember that everything is possible moment to moment, then we start from scratch all the time. I think there's a good story of yeah. you getting out of the corporate structure into this yes. work. Yes. Can, you say, can you tell us a little bit about you that? You know what? I was I know officially story, very successful. Yeah. Yeah. As a corporate. As a corporate. But I was unhappy with myself. You weren't satisfied yeah. at all. And I knew it was time to go. And at that time, I didn't know. What kind of corporate thing? I was in uh, the hospitality industry. And wow. I was vice president of human resources. And I was in the leadership field. So I was in human stuff, you mm -hmm. know. But I knew it was time to go. And so I did it not in a subtle way because I didn't know how to be subtle, but I wanted a shift. So I left the corporation I was in, which was in Paris, uh -huh. and I moved to New York. Uh -huh. And I say, we start from scratch. Nothing. I mean, I had some, obviously, yes. connections yeah. to get going. So what did you do? I started by doing executive coaching first, mm -hmm. you know, so close to my field. Mm -hmm. But then little by little... I did some different healing school. I practiced. Barbara Brennan. Uh, Barbara Brennan was the one. But was it easy to let go of the corporate? Were you still? No. The first six months, I freaked out. I was but scared. But how did you get yourself from corporate to New York? How were you able to convince yourself like, it's like to let go? It's like an inner knowing. It's like you just, I had to. But I not that to. many people are that mm, directed. They may have that feeling, 
but they may be unable to let go. I think it was a mix of, I always knew when I was a little kid that I had this flame, this little light, this little, like, something else. And so much ambition, I have personal ambition to touch a lot of people, mm -hmm. that that was just enough to carry me, and I trusted that I was enough. So now you're happy doing your healing work. I love work it. And you it doesn't feel like work, you know? Right. Yeah. And you, how did you get into your healing with your music and your awareness and your consciousness? Well, one of the other steps mm -hmm. is, is um, intent. Mm -hmm. And I had an intent since four years old in northern Canada to play the harp, but nobody played harp. And um, <laughs> my dad actually owned a motel in mm -hmm. Grand Prairie, and I was precocious, that's hard to believe. But I wanted a harp. So there was a television show called The Friendly Giant in Canada mm -hmm. and a giraffe who played harp. So I said, if the giraffe plays harp, I want to play harp, obviously. From four years old, four you, years wanted, old. you wanted to play, and why Absolutely. do you think you wanted to play the harp? Oh, yeah, she has a story. My <laughs> grandmother used to read me a story called The Little Lost Angel, uh -huh. and The Little Lost Angel went through and a lame boy, she gave him her wings, uh -huh. and a woman was crying. And the, uh, the little lost angel said, I'll give you my harp because it will make you happy. Mm -hmm. And according to my grandmother, I said, ah, oh, I want to play the harp because it meant to bring joy and to uplift. And you're still playing the harp. And I just brought joy <laughs> and <laughs> uplifted you in the healing, so I it worked. I did feel good. Maybe we will cut to you yes. playing your harp. I'd love to. I Was that one? It's called Danza la Pastora by Ernesto Halfter. Wow. I transcribed it. You're really into it when you play. I mean, oh, like, I love it. You, it takes you over. It's like I saw just there your personality disappear and mm, you nice, access something. Nicely said. Right? Yeah. 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 Something else comes on, and it's like your intent and you're focused mm -hmm. and and the rest of the world disappears, and oh, you don't have a, yeah. your personality disappears, uh -huh. and, yeah. and you are communicating with the divine through your fingers and uh -huh. the instrument. Uh -huh. So how great is my life that I get to practice communicating with the divine uh -huh. and bettering myself many hours a day? And you do that with your hands. I do that yes. with my hands too. With your energy. Yeah. And, yeah. So everyone could do that. Everyone could live that way, of course. I mean, well, everyone has a passion. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their their sole mission. And I really think from working with a lot of people, 
When someone is truly in harmony with their desire and they're doing what they love, whether it's an artist or a, a caregiver, if they're really doing their heart's intent, they vibrate. Yes. They're in harmony the same as I am with my heart. And it never wears wow. off. And always be excited because it could sound better and it could sound more more luxurious and it could sound more joyful. But it also sounds good just the way it is, too. You we can, pray you accept, so. You, you, you accept how it also sounds, right? Oh, I Without love it. having it yeah. sound, sound better than yeah. that. Yeah. Well, that's a great demonstration of manifestation. Because I think it is. That's amazing. What, what else can people get from this book? We have a whole principle on energy. Mm. And saying it's all about energy. And you know that. I mean, you're a master at that. I like energy. <laughs> yeah. energy. Yes. Because actually, we are moving into a time of energy medicine and yes. understanding yes. ourselves yes. as energy. Yes. 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 So, and we and. have a vibration that gives off a sound. Right. Say more about that. So uh, one of the things that I've studied a lot is that you, your lungs move and your heart moves and your blood moves and that causes vibration. Vibration, mm -hmm. by definition, has to have sound associated. Okay. So, I am uh, honored to be able to hear the pitch of the body. And you then look at someone, you hear their pitch. I, mean, I, you say, I know their pitch. You know it. You know it. Mm -hmm. And it actually is a sound to you. It is a sound and a harmony. And, and it's everyone, right. like you walk on the street, you hear like a symphony with everyone walking by? Uh, it's sort of like uh, Tesh, who's, who's really an... an inspiring person to be able to to know things uh, intuitively mm -hmm. and I'll ask her what do you think of that person she says I'm I'm closed I'm just worrying about what I should so the same thing oh I, I can access a person's if you tune into that yes but you most of the time you choose not to out of I mean, deep respect for them out of respect otherwise yes. you just like hear all these musical notes. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, but say more yes. about the energy principle. Uh, the energy is like remembering people again that if they are sensitive to patterns mm -hmm. because we know we repeat patterns over and over and over. Like two days ago it was very interesting. Clients came and she wants to lose weight mm -hmm. and she said try everything. Mm -hmm. And I look at her and say no you tried nothing because she started and she stopped. She uh -huh. started to stop. So their think is not about finding the magical whatever answer. The pattern we looked at is you're stopping and starting and stopping and starting, and you do that everywhere in your life. Mm -hmm. So when you really listen to the pattern instead of listening to whatever the situation and the context and get lost into. But she wasn't aware she was no, starting she, was and she wasn't even aware of the no, pattern. No. So she realized that it was everywhere in her life. Yeah. Ah. And so there then from that place we can do energy healing. But we can do process but work. But if someone's not aware of their energy pattern, yeah. how can they become aware with that? Can they read the book and become aware? With this book, like there are, there's a, one of the uh, exercises that's beautiful about simply looking at the five, what we call the five bodies. Yes, like, talk about that. Which is the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, the heart body. The heart body? Yeah, and the spiritual body. Okay. They all have five different vibrations. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, we have different exercises that people can be in tune with that. Mm -hmm. So it's not logical, it may not make sense, but if they access those mm -hmm. bodies, they will get some insights. And many people have one body or one level that they're most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Some people are most comfortable with the mental. Right. And they, by doing the exercises in the book, can realize, but I want to be more heartfelt. And so they can learn to open up to that. Or somebody who is so heartfelt that they have no boundaries can just be a roller coaster driving their family nuts. And they can realize that and say, so I want to realize the boundaries of my physical body and that will help me. So we have to integrate all the bodies. Yes. yes. And make them all evenly accessible. Yeah, or at least, as you say, first step, being aware. I mean, you love about that notion of awareness. Aware it's of like, the bodies. It's like, wow, I'm only, you know, accessing just that mm. part of well, me. Well, most people are aware of the heart body. Explain what that is. You know what? The heart body, if you look at simply, you know, a lot of people know about the chakra system. Mm -hmm. One way to define the field. 
the chakra, the heart chakra is what the bridge between the physical and the spiritual. Right, the so the heart, yeah. In. So the heart mm -hmm. has one foot in both sides. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? But the heart, love is not an emotion. Love is unconditional, mm -hmm. and so therefore there is no boundaries there. Mm -hmm. But one way to practice developing the energy of the heart is to learn to receive, mm -hmm. not to learn to give. To receive. Receiving is a way more people heartfelt have, than giving. People have to learn to receive. Yes. I think mm. I'm learning that one. Me too. Because <laughs> yes. you're giving, you're giving. Yeah. We have yeah. to learn to. How, yeah. how have you learned to receive? Well, I, I'm trying to catch myself sometimes. Like it's, saying, oh, I don't, not, I don't you know. You know, I can do it on my own. So asking for help when it's not mm. too late, but that could be that. But that, that can be also feeling safe enough that. I can be there and receiving somebody without thinking what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Ten Asking seconds for help. That could be one way. Yeah. yeah, or feeling worthy. Worthy to receive. That I right. can receive this. Because when you're receiving, you're not in control. So it's always a little... Uh, so people who are giving <gasps> like to be in control. It, there's more, a little bit of that. I think there is. You know? It's safer. It's safer to give than yeah. to receive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's scary <laughs> to receive. You it know? is. Because then you think maybe someone wants something from me. Yeah. Or maybe uh, well, I don't deserve. Yes, yes I don't right. deserve. Deserving. Exactly. Those two. So deserve. Serving, feeling worthy is another level of manifesting because you're not yes. going to manifest anything if you don't yes. feel worthy of the exactly. manifestation. Exactly. Uh, that's another principle, right? Yeah. Yes. Feel and yes. another one is I'm worthy of honoring my desires. Mm -hmm. I really want to manifest this. That's a this, good one too. And I deserve it. And I'm, I'm setting my intent. Mm -hmm. I'm doing everything that I am aware of, and the book does a really good job of making you aware of some you might not be aware of. Um, what you're saying is we can just receive if we just put ourselves out there. And it's surrender. there. It's there to manifest. Um, and there's nothing linear about manifesting. There's nothing linear, no. like it has to take yeah. these steps to no. do. Yeah. It's not linear. That's another principle. To That's manage. constantly... There, underlying, underlying mm -hmm. it's through every oh, principle. Nothing is linear. So I want something. I don't have to do all these things to get it. It may just come. If with that, would that is that part of what you mean by nonlinear? I would set your intent. Mm -hmm. I would really like to dis to receive this. I feel great because I know I'm going to receive this. Mm -hmm. I think it would be fun to do this, and it might help. And it's fun anyway. So it's all towards the path. And the great thing is it can leapfrog.